And nobody in that section. Right now. All right, you think we're ready? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Into the microphone, okay? okay. She's kind of right into the mic right there. Yeah. Okay, y'all ready? Ready? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> you say good afternoon. You might have to say that a couple times so people will, will stop listening. Okay? And then we'll tell you to talk louder if you need to talk louder. Okay. Good afternoon. Would everybody please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, you may be seated. Again, good afternoon. My name is Chloe Lieberman, and as an excited student of, awesome, of this awesome school, I am happy to welcome you to the new school and improved High Point Elementary School. <laughs> now here's uh, now here's our AACPS awesome principal, Mr. Merritt. My first words are just wow, Un unbelievable. But thank you, Chloe, and hello, everyone. Today is. Certainly a great day for not just High Point Elementary School, but Anne Arundel County Public Schools in general. It's almost been five years since conception of this wonderful building, and I can't think of a better place to be right now. I said to a couple folks coming in, it'll probably take them a month to wipe the smile off of my face because I'm just so happy for children, for children sharing this magnificently modernized school with all of you is just really a dream come true. So at this time, I would like to introduce some of the people who have come to help us celebrate today. We have many dignitaries, first from our Anne Arundel County Board of Education. We welcome President Terry Gilliland, welcome. Vice President Michelle Corkadel. <laughs> Board Member Candace Antwine. <laughs> Board Member Julie Hummer. <laughs> and our Anne Arundel County awesome school superintendent, Dr. George Arlotto. Our state elected officials with us today representing Senator Brian Simonair, who unfortunately could not be here today. Uh, and I know I've worked with him for many years in uh, some of the backdoor meetings of just trying to make this dream become a, a, a reality. His uh, chief of staff, Cara Contino. as well other elected officials who work behind the scenes. Delegate Nick, Nick Kipke. <laughs> a 
Man Delegate Brian Chisholm. And then we welcome our County Councilman, Nathan Volke. Also uh, representing County Executive Stuart Pittman, Reese Peak from the Anne Arundel County Community Engagement and Constituent <laughs> Services Director. I'd also like to welcome the many members of the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Executive Team and staff that are here with us today, specifically our Regional Assistant Superintendent for the Northeast Cluster, Cluster, Ms. Lisa Lighthoff. Now, there are many others that I plan to acknowledge, but first, we'll hear from some of our special guests. I'd like to invite to the podium first our next speaker, uh, Mr. Jafara Almasudi. Jafara? Hello, my name is Jafara Almasudi. Please join me in welcoming to the podium board of education president, Mr. Terry Gilliland. Thank you, Jafara. Uh, I, I think Chloe said it best. She said the word awesome, and this really is awesome. I, I am honored to be here today uh, with many of my colleagues on the Board of Education to celebrate you, to celebrate this community that fought so hard to get this school modernized. I want to say thank you because what you have done is you've raised the bar. You've raised the bar because this is what all projects should look like, so I want to congratulate you for that. These buildings are great. But we know what's most important is what happens in the building, and that's teaching. We want these environments to be safe. We want them to be fun for our students. But above all, we want them to be places where our students can learn because they are tomorrow's leaders. Dr. Arlotto told me, keep this short. He said, nobody wants to hear from you. They want to tour the school. So, so speak quickly and, and sit down. But, but I will say, today is a celebration about the community. Um, coming in here today, Delegate Kipke said, this is about our students and doing what's best for them, and I agree wholeheartedly with him. So congratulations. This is a great school, and I wish you all the best this upcoming school year. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gilliland. My name is David O'Connor Smith, and now our Superintendent of Schools, George, Dr. George Arlotta, will come forward for remarks. Good afternoon. I did indeed tell Mr. Gilliland to be brief and then to be gone so that you can get out and you can see this amazing school, and that's exactly what I want to do. Uh, I came in. Um, probably eight months ago or so, six months ago or so, Mr. Merritt, to tour the school. I was under construction, and then I said, I don't want to come back until it's complete, and I want to see it with the community. And so I'm delighted to spend some time with you today. It does my heart some good, not only that the building is complete after so many years and struggles to make it happen, but the fact that it's standing room only, this speaks to the fact that this is a community school. This is your school. And we're delighted that we can bring this facility to you because your children, our children, deserve that. So quickly, let me thank some folks, right? This doesn't happen in a vacuum. We have worked very closely in the past years with current and past county executives, current and past uh, members of the county council, thank you, um, current and past members of our delegation, the state delegation, and current past members of our boards of education. It's these entities that come together that help us fund schools. We are unique in the state of Maryland. We're one of very few states that support school construction. And that is also has to go through our county executive and our county council, and they have continued to support us building these wonderful schools for our children, for your children. Enjoy this place. Thank you. Thank you to Mr. Merritt. 
This was not easy in getting it started, but once it got started, I then need to thank the staff. You dealt with the mud and the noise and the interruptions and the packing and moving and unpacking, and then the packing and moving and unpacking, and the packing, moving and unpacking, and I thank you for that. You care deeply about our students, about your students, and we thank you for continuing to focus on them. Thank you for that sacrifice. And to the community, thank you for waiting us out. Enjoy the afternoon. Get ready for the school year. We could not be more excited to take on the challenge of working with your children each and every day. Have a great year. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Arwato. My name is Mark Crockett. On the behalf of our state legislators, I'd like to ask Delegate Brian Gisome to say a few words. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be here. Um, truth be told, when I was walking in, Delegate Kipke um, asked me if I could speak because I was uh, relegated, by, indicated by this black line through Senator Simon Ayer's name and my own handily written below, but I am honored to be here. Um, as a man that grew up a son of a bricklayer, which made me a brick carrier, but then <laughs> spent a good deal of my life in construction, I can tell you this is, this is truly, this is all inspiring. This is, this is an amazing finished product. I can't tell you how impressed I am. I know what coordination it takes. It takes everybody, not just the guys that are swinging the hammers and uh, picking up the boards. It takes everybody, it takes community, the fact that you're here is a great showing of how strong this community is. In fact, whoever did this, did it so well, and, and I know five years seems like an eternity, but maybe we should get them uh, working on a bridge that's further south than here. Um, but thank you very much. Once again, I am honored to be here. You all should be very, very um, honored to be here as well because this is an unbelievable product for all of us to learn in a great environment. I am the, the husband of somebody who works in the school system. I know how tough it is. I know that, especially all of you that work in the school system, you take the jobs home with you, you take it home on weekends. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to all the, uh, all the people that lend a helping hand. My name is Ashley Angel Aguilar, and now County Councilman Nathan Ropley will bring remarks. Well, good afternoon. What a crowd out here today, huh? I, this is just tremendous to see the community out here. Uh, it's my privilege to be here today to celebrate the opening of these long-awaited and very needed additions to High Point Elementary School. The new security improvements, the media center, the early childhood wing, these new classrooms are gonna bring this school into the 21st century and advance the goals that this school system has of elevating all students. And I'm proud to be here today doing it with, with the uh, superintendent to do that. I wanna thank the superintendent for his leadership on this project and also for the efforts of everyone in Anne Arundel County Public Schools to make these the best in the state. This new space is a step in the right direction and is going to benefit future generations of Pasadena residents for decades to come, just as the school already has. I also want to thank the parents, students, teachers, and staff here, particularly Principal Merritt for leading through this process. Hopefully everyone agrees that your patience and hard work was worth it to see the end product. I also want to acknowledge somebody who's here that was before me on the County Council, Councilman Derek Fink, who was one of the leaders in getting this done. He's here in the front row, so thank you. Um, and then. And to all the students, you High Point Rams, I hope you enjoy your new school this year. Have a safe and wonderful school year. Thank you. So all the excitement's building, I can tell it. So I would just like to thank a few others and then we'll carry on with our festivities of meet and greet. But first, as Dr. Arlotto mentioned, I can't thank enough my staff who have really 
been through a lot with the packing and unpacking, as Dr. Alato mentioned. And their resilience, their flexibility, but beyond all that, their dedication for the boys and girls in this community is certainly unwavering. So to my staff, you have my deep gratitude and thanks. And boys and girls, let's give our entire staff a big round of applause. Thank you. And as many of you know, this community is awesome. A multi-generational community where families for generations have attended High Point. And I know some of you are, are new friends to the community. But such pride that exists, which has helped create the legacy of this community. And with that, I would like to acknowledge our PTA for their unending support of our boys and girls here at High Point throughout the years. Thank you for your enthusiasm to support all of our students. So at this time, could we recognize, give thanks to our PTA. And as you can imagine, there are many, many hands that went into this work. I would like to give thanks and recognize several. Our Chief Operating Officer for Anne Arundel County Public Schools, Mr. Alex Sheknovich. Facilities Director Lisa Seaman Crawford and Project Manager Kim Salome. Our, our on-site uh, project managers in the, in the trenches with me, Rhonda Fish and Matt Goldstraw for their work. And the entire AACPS Facilities Division team for always making us feel like we were a top priority. Because as we always say in Anne Arundel County Public Schools, we are better together. I also want to recognize the fantastic design team from Smolin, Emmer, and Ilkovich Architects. We have several with, with us here today. Thank you so much for making your dream a uh, reality. Go ahead, stand up, stand up, please. Thank you. and the meticulous detail of our construction management company, J. Vinton Schaefer and Sons. Please be recognized. They're, they're, they're here, and as, as they do most days, they're behind the scenes working tirelessly to make this become a reality. And finally, I really want to thank my family, I've got uh, my wife here, my two grandchildren here. Uh, she's put up with a lot of, uh, <clears throat> you know, conversations at home when I came home and said, they ought to do it this way. Or how come we can't do it that way? But Pearl, it's turned out beautiful, and thank you for your support. And, and, and overall, and I've said this before to the community, it really is an honor for me to serve this community. Uh, I love this community. It reminds me a lot of where I grew up in North County, the Brooklyn Park area. You folks bleed red, white, and blue. You love our country. You love our community. You love our school. And for that, we are definitely better together. Now, boys and girls, if I can call forward our students, come on up. It's time to cut the ribbon. Our, our dignitaries, please join us. Step up. We've got a pretty big crowd, but we'll all squeeze in. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to say after I say one, two, three, 
High Point, Charging for Success. Okay, High Point, Charging for Success. And boys and girls out there, let's hear it. So, one, two, three. High Point, Charging for Success. So once again, I want to thank all the dignitaries who joined us here today. We did have one late arrival, Derek Fink. Derek Fink, thank you for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we're sure to have an AACPS awesome year. At this time, uh, staff, you may be dismissed so we can get ready for meet and greet. And Boys and girls and family members, uh, just let my staff exit and then we will begin our meet and greet. Have a wonderful afternoon. We're going to have an awesome school year. Thank you. Good job, friends. Good job. Good job. You did great.